The Austin Police Union is blasting the chief for suggesting officers should think fists first in responding to suspects who do not cooperate. He made those comments about use of force in September at a Texas Tribune Festival panel on policing. KXAN's Arzo Dost found out the approach is not so much the issue, it's whether officers are properly trained. Stop right there, I can hear you just fine. Ken Morgan specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Should they decide to punch or reach in, all we're going to do is pivot out of the way. He teaches what's called Combat Objective Battle Ready Application, or COBRA. It was started by a police officer in Florida. Good for police officers, good for security guards, bodyguards. Morgan says the training isn't extensive but it needs to be reinforced. And there needs to be constant reinforcement over a period of every four months or so, four to six months is really perfect. The Austin Police Association President Ken Cassaday says that's the problem. Officers aren't getting enough retraining. Everyone needs to be retrained and we need to have continuing education. One, two, three. Cassidy points out that about 52 hours of hand-to-hand -hand combat is covered during an eight-month long academy. The Austin Police Department says it will host a training focused on just this in January. But the association isn't buying it. We have no continuing training to keep those skills going. And that's, you know, the dirty little secret's out. APD has been negligent for way before Chief Acevedo got here. He steps in, I do that same thing, forearm block. This COBRA training isn't offered to APD officers, but Morgan has worked with plenty of officers and says the constant training is key. To be able to um, reinitialize that, that muscle memory and make sure that it stays tuned. If I've got to take somebody to the ground. Arzo Dost, KXAN News. We wanted to speak to Chief Art Acevedo, but he was not available today. APD did send us a statement saying, Austin Police Department policy requires officers to use only the amount of force that is reasonably necessary to overcome the resistance they are encountering. And they recognize defensive tactics are a perishable skill and repeated that refresher course is set for January.